Hi, my name's Rob Evans and today I want to talk to you about how do you overcome those problems that you might have when you're away for business, interstate, in a motel, and you want to look after your body, your health, your fitness, what do you do? So I'm away at the moment, I'm up in Brisbane for four days and uh, I came prepared. That's the first thing, you must be prepared. So um, there's no gym available uh, to me in this facility. So uh, I had to bring uh, the, my workout in my mind and I had to bring the equipment that I needed with me. Now, the way that I design programs is that uh, when you do go away, that you can do them with little to no equipment. So most of the exercises that I do when I'm away I involve things like a sit-up, a squat, um, some back extensions, um, those types of exercises that don't require any, any equipment. But if I'd like to work a little bit more, then what I normally pack is one of these things, which is a resistance band. Uh, so it's made of uh, latex and it's super stretchy. This one's a heavy duty one. So I can generate a whole bunch of uh, resistance uh, from using that. And because it's so light, it packs so easily and um, and they're so versatile with the number of exercises. I could probably come up with about 15 to 20 exercises right now that we could do uh, with that. So the ones that I'm working on, uh, that I worked on this morning, where I did some upright rows with it, and I also did some bicep curls. So I could do some shoulder press as well. Um, there's a whole range of different things. I could use my triceps as well. Um, but they were the ones that I focused on today. So I like to keep it really simple. Um, I, I normally focus on three sets of my exercises and I'll do about 10 to 15 repetitions. And I'll do them through three times. I'll go from one to the other as quickly as I can. And uh, what that means is that because I've got a lot of uh, commitments while I'm away, um, I don't want to be spending like an hour doing a workout. So that workout for me will take about 15 to 20 minutes and then I can just get on with the rest of my day. The other thing that I do bring, um, most of the clients that I work with have various injuries and aches and pains and so forth. This little devil here is called a lacrosse ball and it is, um, you might be able to see, it's a little bit squishy but it's really, really hard. And what we use that for is for doing some trigger point massaging and stuff up through the, the back of the shoulders, it could be the lower back. You basically put it on the ground or you can put it in the wall and you can roll up and down to work those sore joints. It's like a little bit of a massage if you don't have time to get out. Um, for a massage, if you're sitting a lot through the, the day like I am at the moment, uh, then uh, what that means is that I can get some aches and pains. Um, the other thing that I do is make sure that I pack some exercise gear. So, um, uh, you know, I've got, uh, I've got my gym shoes, I've got some shorts, I've got a singlet, so I can get out and walk and, and do what I need to do to um, uh, optimize my health as much as I can. So. Tomorrow we're going to talk about some food and how we prepare for our food when we're away and we can't, we don't have access to our own kitchen um, and how we tackle that. But today I hope you found this useful. Just a couple of my little tips that I use when I come away traveling and still make sure that I'm still looking after myself and getting the most out of my trip when I'm away and not just wasting my time um, in terms of my health and fitness for when I get back and say, oh wow, if only I'd done something while I was away and using that as an excuse. No more excuses. Bring your resistance band, get into your motel room and do some exercises, 15, 20 minutes and get on with your trip. Okay, that's me out for today. Bye for now.